So today we're trying out a new fix for our uh, issues that we've been having lately. I've got some phones here that we have reassigned with new SIM, SIM cards. Uh, again, anecdotally, we had some situations where I had two phones, not these two exact phones, but this is just for demonstration, where I had one phone that was running really slow with the EPTT and one phone that was running just normal, and they both had identical firmware, build number, and AT&T EPTT um, application version numbers, but one was running fast, one was running slow. So we swapped SIM cards and the behavior followed the SIM card. So today I've got some new SIM cards from our AT&T um, um, account service manager and we're going to swap out some SIM cards to see if putting new, new cards in will help the sl slowness of that application. So we're gonna start here with this one that's the LR control analyst. All these have been assigned by our representative already, so this is the one that we're using for for this particular phone. So there's our old SIM card. Here's our new one. Okay, I'm going to click the center button to start up the AT&T EPTT app. Activation required to use the EPTT service to activate. Um, so we'll click yes to activate now. And while we're waiting on that one, just to keep everything organized, I'm going to keep the original SIM card with the new SIM here. I'm just going to tape it with a piece of scotch tape just so that we can kind of keep them, keep them straight. All right, so that one, that one is with the one marked control analyst. Okay. So immediately I'm leaning towards this not fixing the issue because normally I could just click the scroll over button on one that is working and it would immediately accept. So I'm going to click no for the tutorial. We'll wait just a few seconds for it to come up. Now again it's working fast right now but even the initial part that we saw in this in this uh, demonstration that would be included in the launching the app and getting it running because th that's kind of been the problem all along once the app is running it works okay uh, until it sits idle for a while so the way we'll simulate this is by making a quick call so I'll just ch choose a uh, oops I'll just choose one that I can call here and um, I'll call my handheld. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Okay, so we got a call through, so the, that part is working. So we're going to do a power cycle here. fully connect to the network here. Make sure we get our our 4G LTE signal. Battery is sufficiently charged. We'll wait till we get the check mark here next to first net showing that it's connected. Okay. So we are showing that's connected, so let's just for 
just for uh, kind of proving the issues here, we'll click on messages or contacts. That's fine. Messaging immediately comes up. Phone immediately comes up. Camera immediately comes up. Uh, let's see, clock comes right up. You can navigate in the clock. Calendar immediately comes up. I can navigate it initially, no problem. So now, moment of truth, let's try the EPTT app and see if it reacts slowly. So, okay. So, yep. Same as what we were having before with the previous SIM card. So this was just a, again, a test to see. So at least initial reaction to this, it's not showing that it's gonna go any faster using the uh, new SIM cards. So it was worth trying uh, since we were having some behavior that was following SIM cards and it would not necessarily be on the device. So uh, another suggestion that was perhaps it's a contributing factor would be that there could be some kind of back-end settings on the SIM cards themselves. Um, we are doing a call today with Kodiak, the, the company that handles the PTT portion of these, these devices. So. Hopefully we'll get some, some answers through that, that call today. But again, I just wanted to demonstrate this on film so that we could at least record the reaction of what was happening. And, and it does not appear that swapping that SIM card has uh, resolved any of the issues, at least with this first device that I'm trying. Anyway, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please drop it in the comment section below, and I'll be glad to answer any questions I can.